Welcome to the Telford Tigers YouTube channel. We've got highlights of all the home games and you can look back through our archive at some amazing footage of ice hockey played in Shropshire. We'll have a look at this week's home game in a couple of ticks. Don't forget you can visit online to telfordtigers.net. You've got all the details of the up and coming games, fixtures and results and of course that all important Telford Tigers merchandise. Let's have a look at what happened on the ice this week in Shropshire. to Lucas Price, deflects from his backhand into the end zone, he heads off for a line change, fresh feet coming out and the Tigers pick the puck up as Jessen takes it over, holds it up on the blue line to allow Herman to get out of there and a goal comes from the Telford Tigers, Jessen skates in, gets the first shot away, it goes wide, deflects off the boards and Brody Jessen headed into the net, picks up the rebound and fires it in behind Smithle for the first goal of the night, first Gets the puck up high, Jake Price tips it up and over, drops into neutral ice. Jackson, D to D pass, gets it back, starts to step up the ice, hits the blue line, mishandles it. Jessen on the backhand pass to Watkins, Watkins on a one and oh, puts it round and he hangs on to it. He shows some real gumption, a beautiful little pass from Brody Jessen into Sam Watkins. Sam's is on a one and oh with Smittle as he walks it down. You see He's grimacing. I don't know whether he's caught an ankle or twisted something, but as he gets up, he's really, he's getting off the ice, but very slowly as a drive forward from Vladimir Luka shoots and Schmittel hangs on to the puck. Hopefully, that was just a twist. Dead, pushed off his feet by Fielder. Lunge forward from Lucas Price, drive. Pass back across. Tom Byrne puts it through to the slot to Herman. Who makes the shot and Schmittel makes light work of it, but a nice bit of play between Lucas Price. Watkins forward to Brody Jessen. There was a hand up in the air and a call for offside for the Bees. Jack Watkins now backhands it down. Jessen turns and shoots. Stead deflects it, gets his stick onto it, runs behind the net. Bradley's there picking it up, sends it round the boards up to the point. Danny Rose backhanded deep into the end zone now. Nice little pass forward, second attempt. I thought Jessen was on to have his hand in three of them then, as O'Flaherty gets it through this time to Herman, gets the shot. And the forecheck comes in, this time putting the pressure on is Walkham. Comes to neutralise. McKenzie must be OK, takes the backhand of Vladimir Luka, walks in, pass it on to Finley Howells, it runs on, Smittle with a pad save, kicking his left pad out like a pinball, paddle on a pinball machine, as he deflects the puck away from his net. Into the corner. Got a side hi to Anika watching from Bracknell with Nick and Thomas cheering on the bees. Thank you, Anika, uh, for your message. And Lance steps down now. Played cross ice. Up ice to Herman. Carries it over the blue line. Watkins is down on the back post. Shot comes in. Schmidt. Schmittle makes the save. Carlon with the backhand. It's sending back goal bound. Danny Rose gets a piece of it. Herman once again shoots slightly wide at the right post. Deflection comes off. Jake Price pinches down. Tom Carlon goes back, retrieves the puck, sends it across. Intercepted, drive forward, shot. And Brad Day doing the business as Joshua Smith drives forward for the Bees, gets a shot away, and Brad Day. Out of hand instead. Over to the right side, stretch pass. Vladimir Luka intercepts, holds onto the puck. Stretch pass over to Finlay Howells, drive forward. Back across to Scott McKenzie. Stick handles as he goes backwards down into the end zone. Let's a ripper of a wrist shot go, but Schmidt. Puck played against the boards, it's trapped up there as the Tigers are on the, power, on the short-handed play. Pressure in the puck, boxing it up there. Bees come in, shot comes in, Brad Day makes the save. Rebound comes down, there's a lunge in it from Stead, and then the, there's almost 30 seconds with a man advantage to the Bees. Shot comes in. Blocked by the leg pad of Rhodes, Mitchell King. Shot comes in, Brad Day frees it now for a stoppage in play, a good kill from the Telford Tigers there. Line change coming from both. Lindgren. Quick feet on that skater, picking up man of the match, countless time for the bees. Real danger, man. Now a drive forward. Herman comes in, pulls her across, and shoots wide to the right post. Took a deflection and hit the netting. A little bit on there. There's a push going there from Herman. Martin gave a little bit. The linesman's in between the two of them. But watch him on the back of the play. Thomas, if you're on that, look at Herman and Martin. The two of each other just sticking each other behind the play. And Tom Carlon comes in to have a word. That was 
And he's looking like he's going to give him a penalty. If they to Herman, bit of a stick coming in from Stead there. Jessen tries on the stick lift. O'Flaherty cuts the lane out. Defenseman steps up and now Lindgren on a break. Goes down the left side. Comes in, makes a shot. Brad Day makes a save. Puck deflects into the corner. Picked up and battling in the corner. By Herman. Bees keep it down low. Adams forcing Walker out towards the boards. Carlon gets a tap on it, carries the puck forward. Headmans it to Herman, cuts in cross, jumps across the top, gets the shot away. And it's frozen down. Gabra now in the corner, backhands it round. Quick feet in from Walkham. Carries it round in front of the bench, across to the D-man. Step up, Mog makes the shot. Brad Day makes the save, rebound, picked up by Danny Rose, flicked up and over. Goes on for icing, but it's not going to get out there. Schmittle skates out to play it across to the right-hand side. Puck's played up off the boards. Goodison over to Webb. Gets it in the end zone, tries to carry it round. Bradley runs behind the net. The puck's in front, it's of loose. And it's been cleared out. B's defence just chip it in. They're on the power play and there's another penalty. This one's going against Jack Watkins. So now the Bees have got an opportunity with a five on three. Schmittel skates off to get the extra player out so he can sit six on four until the Tigers get possession of the puck. They can't just touch it, they have to have possession of it. Bees moving the puck round, two players in front of the net, shot comes across. Gabra didn't connect properly. Glad you're enjoying the coverage from Norway and all around the world. Tell the Tigers fans that can't be here tonight, or indeed if you're a Bees fan watching from home. Walkham, pass across the front of the net, it deflected from Lingreen, but he was off his feet almost in the crease area. Shot comes in, hits the left hand post and deflects out the Bees, closing down with his five on three, shooting the puck at Brad Day at every opportunity, and only so far finding the left hand post and deflecting from the pipework. Walkham, back post and that was deflected in. There's a call for a kick in, but I think it was def if it's deflected in, it's permitted. If it's kicked in, it's not allowed. Now, Scott McKenzie got a goal last week on this, and it has been given as a goal. Lingreen was... Harkup comes in and puts the pressure on. Mitchell King up to Scott McKenzie. Takes it over the blue line, passes across, top lane. Vladimir Luka gets a piece of it, a stick check from the Bees men. It wasn't full pressure ahead, but he did manage to complete the pass. cross eyes to Scott McKenzie. Brad Day sets the play. Little flick of a backhanded pass to Mog. Stead, should I say. Webb comes in. This is Ryan Webb for the Bees. Played forward now. Vladimir Luka winds up, gets the wrist shot, comes across the front of Schmittel. Backhanded in off the boards. Happy stick. Fielder shoots in, deflects off the boards behind the net. Watkins up to Fielder. Fielder shoots across and goes post to post. Took a deflection from Herman, I think it was Fielder that sent it across. And I'm not sure whether it went posted in or whether Herman got a piece of it. I don't know whether I can see on the replay here. You've got Herman down low on the right side. Fielder swipes up, gets the shot away. And O'Flaherty exchanges a word or two. Martin pushing and shoving once again, this time at Rhodes Mitchell King. Martin's really fired up in this game. He was trying it on with Herman a little, a little bit earlier. This time he was getting frustrated. Herman comes down low, cycles behind the net. Vladimir looks at the top of the slot. Feeds it down to the back post to Sam Watkins. Puts it across for a one-timer from Scott McKenzie. Schmidt has a piece of it. A great little play there. Playing it from Luca. And a top right-hand corner from the man himself. This time he gets the puck on just inside the blue line. He bides his time. And a slap shot goes top right-hand corner with a minute left on the first power play. So a five on three goal scored by Vladimir Luka. Slap shot from the blue line. Please win the draw. Comes back to Bradley. D to D pass. Up from Stead. And I'm not sure there's a penalty. Is there? A, yeah, there's got to be. Penalty coming on. Gabra has taken off his feet on the halfway line. And now it's going. And there's a bit of mixing up there with Deacon Fielder. And interestingly, it looked to me like that physicality was instigated by the Tigers. And I was expecting that to come. Is how we sit. The Tigers' penalties will both end at the same time. 
Off the draw, Mackenzie now. Across to Danny Rose, Watkins on the back post, and Danny Rose just found it in the top right-hand corner with a wrist shot there past Schmittel, and it's a short-handed goal for the Telford Tigers. That'll do your confidence, the world are good right there. 5-1 is the score. Yeah, from Parker. Price backhanded onto Carlon. Carlon back to Price. Price shoots to find the top right hand corner. And Lucas Price finds the exact sweet spot that Danny Rose finds just minutes earlier. A give and go from Lucas Price to Tom Carlon. Comes through the centre slot, gets the pass back. Towards the boards. Nice bit of defence play. I haven't seen much of Jake Price. So, oh, that was a big hit. And now. Rhodes Mitchell King lines up with Martin. Martin makes the hit. The penalty goes up. The players are in there. Martin's holding out. I said he's been mixing it up for the majority of the game. Rhodes Mitchell King sort of locks out with him. He's not, he's not trying to go. There's a bit of tapping from the lines, we just say to clear out. Lucas Price, he's got a bit of fire and temperature of what you need to do to maintain this game and have players available for the next one. So I could understand. Shot comes across. Back posting in. I'm just trying to see who finished that. It was 96, Brendan Walker that shot the puck in the goal. The pass comes across. Posting in. Off the draw, Watkins gets it back to Finlay Howells. It goes up in the air, drop down into the back of the net. The puck goes high in the air. Nobody knew where it was. It was up in the air and it literally dropped down from the air behind Schmittel and bounced his way into the back of the net. It didn't be credited with that one. Walker runs back. Henry Adams plays it forward. Bradley. Intercepts and pinches, comes across, shot comes in, and a counter goal straight away from Daniel Bradley. The puck comes across, they give it to Bradley, and he finds his way past the right hand side of Brad Day. And a quick retaliation from the Bees, bringing it to 7 3, narrowing that gap to a one goal period. It's four on four.